Hey guys, my name is Jake, and I think I found what might just be my favorite knife for 2018. The Best Tech Grampus. <laughs> I am loving this knife. It fills my hand almost perfectly. Uh, it's got a good look to it. It cuts very, very well. Uh, it's got a great little end on it, on the end of the handle, on the, the, it's not really a pommel, but on the, on the end, pommel end of the handle. Blade shape, excellent for cutting. We've got a really nice belly and a reasonable length of a flat cutting edge. You know, good sharpener's toil, good flipper tab, nice jimping up here, nice swedge for extra good looks to it. Uh, pocket clip that's quite deep. And if you really need to, you can just do a little bit of filing of some G10 and make it a left hand pocket clip. The Grampus. I am excited about this knife, so why don't you stick around for the full review coming at you right now. This knife, like I said in the intro, fits my hand so very, very well. Uh, my hands are large. They border on extra large. That's between 10 and 11 in the European glove sizes. So, so you can see the handle there. You can see a little bit of the handle right there. You know, when I make a fist, it just fits in there perfectly. Put your thumb up here and it rests up there right where the uh, little bit of jimping is. Really, really good grip. Uh, even with this aggressive little spot back here, your reverse grip, it works as well. As long as I don't try to wrap my thumb all the way around it, I can get a good grip on it that way. Uh, a reverse reverse, yeah, not so much, but this is a very rare grip that hardly anybody uses. But if you're one of those who does, you, know, you want to know about it, wrap your thumb around. Uh, the nice high blade here means it's great for a pinch grip to do some, you know, delicate cutting or intricate work. Uh, there's no forward choil, which I do like on a lot of knives, but it's not necessary. Really nice sharpener's choil in there. Slight chamfer on the flipper tab there. Nice uh, swedge up here, which is another chamfer that goes from, you know, the jimping all the way to the tip right there. Really, really nice. High flat grind, which is called a saber grind. It's almost a full flat grind. It's really nice and high. D2 steel. And yes, some people were mentioning to me about the D2 steel and Best Tech. Yes, when Best Tech was first coming out a uh, year and a half ago or so, it seems, I did some good research, it seems there was one batch of knives that had some bad heat treat on it. So every company makes mistakes every now and then. And so it's not that hard for me to forgive them for that mistake, especially since they've replaced those knives for people. Um, so no problem there. I like this D2 steel. D2 is a really nice steel. We've got uh, some nice uh, stone wash on the flats looks really good and then the satin grind here you got nice parallel lines nice straight lines going across the face of the blade i do prefer if the whole thing was stone washed because see my fingerprints show up immediately on there and uh you know i don't like fingerprints on my knives but it's not that big a deal i could always tumble stone wash this thing myself if i wanted to the handle here you've got a nice in index finger twirl right here and then back here, there's some nice work to uh, flare it out at the end as it comes down on a bit of a curve. It just suits the hand very, very well. If you wanted the uh, edges to be a little more gradual, all you have to do is sand down a little bit more of the uh, G10. They've already taken a bit nice chamfer off the edge of the edge there, which makes it fairly gradual. But you can always do more of that yourself if you wanted to, because the uh, handle scales are fairly thick. And the liners are fairly thick as well. That makes this knife substantial. It's a big knife in terms of how well it's built. It's a sturdy knife. It's a robust knife. It's a working knife. And it shows uh, from the testing that I did on this thing. Tiny little touches like they chamfered the inside edge of the liners all the way along on both sides right there. Really, really nice work. You've got a steel backspacer back here. That's a pro and a con. Uh, the pro part of it, it's solid and it's strong and it's you know robust. It's a really good backspacer in that way. 
They did some really nice skeletonizing, and I'll show you some pictures of the inside. I'll do that right now. Take a look at this. So you saw the ball bearings in there. Uh, you might have seen the D-shaped uh, pivot pillar so that it's not free spinning. So you don't need to put a tool on this end here. You just put your T8 on here and undo it. And, um, you know, these are T6 here. I do wish they were T8, but they come up, they come open very well. You know, it's a solid, solid, beautiful knife. Let's uh, make sure we go over everything. D2 steel, drop point blade. Um, Rockwell hardness on the D2 is around 59 plus or minus a little bit. Uh, nice steel backspacer, uh, nice high saber grind. The liner lock locks up perfectly, exactly how I want a brand new knife to lock up. I'll give you a close-up picture of, of that right there. Yeah, it locked, just great lock up, solid lock up, no blade play side to side, nothing up and down. When it closes, it's perfectly lined up right down the middle, just like you want it. The G10's got these, you know, cutouts on it, which, you know, take off a tiny bit of weight, but they add for excellent grippiness. Really, really love the grippiness on the handle scales. And everything's perfect. Let's do the dimensions. We'll zoom in a bit. Cutting edge is 8.44 centimeters, 3.32 inches. Blade length, 8.77 centimeters, 3.45 inches. The blade thickness, 3.18 millimeters, that's 0.125 inches. The blade depth is 2.67 centimeters, 1.05 inches. The thickness of the edge behind the grind is 0.52 millimeters, which is 0 0.0205 inches. Perfect thickness behind the grind. The grind angle, it's 21.8 on one side, and it's fairly consistent, but not completely, and about 23.2 on the other side, so the grind angle is awesome, and I will be sharpening it to 20 degrees per side. It's got the factory edge on it right now, and through all my testing, it had the factory edge. Uh, I haven't even stropped it, nothing. I've just been using it the way it is. The handle length, and I measured from the beginning of the G10 to the tip of this uh, piece of steel back here. 11.86 centimeters, 4.67 inches. The grip area between my thumbs, 9.4 centimeters, 3.7 inches. The uh, handle thickness, not counting the pocket clip, is 1.54 centimeters, 0 0.61 inches. And since I mentioned the pocket clip, it does not create any hot spots for me at all. In no matter what grip I used, it just didn't make any hot spots. The handle depth, and that's uh, this way right here at the, the greatest distance right there, which is the same actually right here at the belly, is 2.72 centimeters, 1.07 inches. The total length of this knife with the blade deployed is 20.63 centimeters, 8.12 inches. How much does this thing weigh? 140 grams. That is 4.95 ounces. So they just got it under five ounces. They could have taken off more. Why do I say that? This backspacer is a beast of a steel backspacer. It weighs 13 grams, 0.45 ounces. So this one piece of steel is almost half an ounce. And if I show you a picture again of the uh, tear apart shot, there's a lot of steel that I could take away on that backspacer. And uh, I believe this is going to be a knife that I will keep for the rest of my life. And if I still own it after Christmas time, I will be doing that. I will be taking that steel off. But we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot for it to grow on me even more. And hopefully it won't grow on me less or ungrow on me. What's the word for that? Die? Oh, that's a bad word. So, yeah, we'll see what I do to that. I don't like to change a knife in case I'm going to sell it, so. But that would be, that's a good change to take off a little bit of steel right there to help it lose weight, along with the great skeletonizing they did on this thing. I love the fit and finish. Um, I rate it excellent. Everything works, smooth action. Uh, the ball bearings are ceramic. The detent ball is ceramic. Um, 
for a budget knife, this thing's 52 US dollars. So for some people, this is a budget knife. Some people, it's going to be out of your budget. Uh, 52 US right now at the end of August 2018 is about $67 Canadian, about 44 and a half euros and about 40 British pounds. Uh, that's roughly the price. The pros and cons on this thing, well, the blade shape is all business. No, well, maybe a tiny bit of flare with that swedge up there, but it's not, you know, it's not a, a flare kind of knife. This is a business cutting knife. Does it work for stabbing? Certainly, the swedge helps for that. It's got a nice belly here, so it works for all kinds of slicing. It's got a nice flat edge here, so it's great for doing any of, uh, you know, straight on kind of slicing instead of this kind of slicing. So the belly is good for the slicing when you're moving the knife across. The straight edge is great for doing that straight on cutting. Tip is quite strong, well made. Uh, all business, it's an effective cutter. The fit of the handle is perfect for my hands. Uh, we've got a nice thick stop pin here. I forgot to talk about that. That's 0.34 millimeters. Nice thick stop pin. That's a little bit thicker than the blade itself, actually. The blade thickness, that's really good. Um, the grip is perfect. Um, minimal jimping, and it's not very aggressive jimping, which is, I, I like this. This is great. It's too much jimping, I don't really like. Uh, the odd time, some knives, you know, I like it, but this knife, yeah, just it's just minimalistic where I like it. Great skeletonizing. Um, you know, thick, strong liners. Robust. Uh, this great end on here, you know, if the knife is closed and you just need to persuade somebody or something to do something, uh, you know, you just need a little bit of a oomph sometimes, you know, that is just awesome right there. You know, you put your hand behind it and that can be a good persuader without being lethal at all. Not even anywhere near lethal, just persuasive. Pocket clip. Well, it's not a super deep pocket clip, but it's not bad at all. Let's take a look. So there you go. You've got well over half an inch sticking out, but most of it is just a little over a quarter of an inch sticking out. And that little bit of steel sticking out there. So it's not super in your face at all. It comes in this black, a black, light green, and a dark green. So, you know, it just sort of blends into most pants fairly well. You could make this pocket clip come to this side if you want to. On this side, you know, there's a little bit of uh, the G10's been made flat for the pocket clip, and you could do that on this side too if you wanted to. Uh, they didn't do it yet, but that's a tiny little bit of work that any lefty would need to do to make it left compatible. So I really like that they put those two screws there and made it ready for you, but still left really good, you know, for the 90% of people that are, are right-handed or whatever the number is. What's the cons for this knife? Because I haven't talked about cons yet. Well, for me, there's very few cons here. Uh, the biggest con for me is that the steel backspacer is so heavy. You know, I wish that was lighter. Otherwise, I'm really looking for cons. At, at a $52 US price point, this knife has got everything good going for it. There's, there's no big problems. There's no obvious problems. Uh, there's not even little problems. They d they did all the little things correctly. That tiny bit of chamfering that I mentioned, it just it smoothed out the G10. The, the great size of the sharpness. Tro you know, the action's great. You know, you can flip it straight, push it straight down, and it'll flip open. Of course, you always are pulling back just a little bit, but light switch method also works really well. Uh, just a very well-made, great knife. The Grampus. Maybe there's a little too much writing on the knife. Uh, I don't like the logo right there on the, the grind of the knife. Uh, or even this writing. I'd like the writing to all be on this flat section. You know, maybe that's a minor con. Uh, wish there'd be no writing on this grind at all. I wish the writing or the, the work would be a little bit lighter instead of so dark. Yeah, that's true. I would really appreciate that. Um, but everything's done very well. The screws are nice screws. I, I wish they were T8s here. That's another you know, minor con. Sure. But the pocket, uh, I mean, the uh, release for the uh, liner lock is easy to get at, and it works very well. 
Uh, do it just as well with my left hand as I can with my right. No, so no problem. It's a good, good knife, and I'm loving this knife, and if I can, I want to keep this knife forever. What do you think of what you've seen? Have you looked at any other videos from Best Tech? Uh, what do you think of them? Leave that in your comments. Uh, I will read all the comments. I will respond to most of the comments. Uh, now that I'm back home, I have time for most of that. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting. If you're a Patreon supporter, thank you very much. Uh, this won't be a knife that I'm going to give away to the Patreon winner this month. I give a good knife away to one Patreon supporter every single month. So if you want to become a Patreon supporter for two US dollars or more per month, uh, I would really much appreciate that. Patreon.com slash CCE. There's links down below in the description. If you're watching on a computer, look right above the top comment. There's a, a gray link that says show more. It doesn't look like a link. It just says show more in capital letters. You click on that. If you're on a mobile phone, just below this corner, there's a black triangle that you can click on and you'll see the links where you can buy this. Uh, if you buy it through Amazon, I get a tiny bit of a credit for that. And every place I found sells this for $52. So, and that's the price that's everywhere. So consider supporting my channel by buying this through Amazon. I also have an Amazon influencers page uh, where you can browse through a bunch of different knives that I like. I'll have a link for that down below as well. There you go, guys. Thanks. Remember, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.